Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? We're about to stay up in this mood. Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there. And I wanted to show you an update on my Night Lords. Actually, it's not so much of an update as a flash of inspiration. I saw on one of my guys that I subscribe to, Templar Crusade 01, built up this awesome Primark of Conrad Kurtz. And so I was watching his video and just thinking, oh, what a what great timing to be making a Night Lord army, even though I think the one that he's building his for is pre-heresy and mine is after. Oh, look at those mold lines. I have to, I have to get on those. I, I thought it's, it was really cool. And also, just picked this up. The Blood River novel. That's the second Night Lord's novel in the, um, I guess in the, in, hopefully they'll make it a series. But, yeah, look at this guy. He's got horns, so I guess it's just decoration after all Tom Donson one um, thanks for your input on that I was like ah, I don't want to give them anything that looks like mutations so I took out the horns but hey it's right here on the cover of this novel they use it to scare their enemies just like the um, just like the the screams that they play over the loudspeakers of any town they're attacking oh these so great so great these guys anyways that's a little bit of an update on my night lord still working on those guys I went back over them because I saw a post online that said it's really good to 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 do the first design in the lightning bolts as ice blue and then go over them with the whiter colors. So so I, I went back over everything and did them in ice blue. And yeah, it, it, it works really well. Still got seven more of those guys to paint up. Okay, what next? These war machine guys. Let's focus a little bit. So it's taking me a while to do because I, I like to do each one up to a certain point. So like all the base coats right before you start washing them. So these are the only guys left that I got to do. Here are my finished guys. Here's Doc Killingsworth. I think he's really funny. Let's see if I can get him in focus. Hold on. There we go. This is a great model to paint up. Lots of great details on on him and I'm trying to do him a little brightly in this turquoise color and so much details on this guy like his cigar and the little rat popping out of his hat his bottle of moonshine all the different knives and blades he's got strapped to his body the bandages on his arms from all of the little cuts and scratches he's got really good really great guy really fun mini to paint there you go and these are the Pirates that I painted. I tried to go for a different color scheme for each one, so uh, let me just take you through what I did. This guy's just your standard normal, try to paint him brightly in reds and blues just to see what I came out with. And then I decided to get creative. Here's my all American pirate with the stars and stripes, or just the stripes, I guess, on his pants. Then I decided to take the red and white stripe theme with this guy, who I'll call Waldo from Where's Waldo. I base coated red gore and then blood red and then did the lines in astronomic on gray and then highlighted up with skull white. Then here's my Merry Christmas guy because he looks like an like an elf with the reds and the greens. And here's my Ronald McDonald guy with the yellow and the white stripes and the red hair or the bandana. Yellow is such a hard color to paint. There you go. So I, I, I was just looking for a bit of a variety with these guys how how differently will they look if I give them all a different color scheme and I think it turned out pretty well so with these guys who which are all the same mold I think I'll try to give them different differing color schemes and the last thing is I'm building this sentinel and I lost a foot one of his one of the feet pe foot pieces so I decided how am I gonna you know convert something up with the missing foot and I decided to give him a base like a swamp base so to do that I cut about half of the base the 40 millimeter and then I put in a little uh, sheet of plastic card in the bottom Then I green stuffed all the edges I know it's really messy and ugly from the bottom but hopefully nobody will see that and then 
I painted the base before I started pouring in the water effects. I painted just a really thin layer of Dark Angel's green to make it seem like the bottom of a swamp. And then I poured in just a small layer of water effects to see how well it, how well it cures. And it's doing pretty well. And um, I'm going to let it dry for a little longer. Then I'm going to paint little splotches of scorpion green or brown just to simulate um, mud and stuff. And then I'm going to pour in some more water effects and paint up the base to look like he's stepping out of a swamp. So basically just, you know, you can get really creative when you're looking to to uh, make up for something, like in this case, this missing foot piece. And um, I'm planning to gloss varnish the other foot so that it looks like that foot just stepped out of the swamp. Oh, more mold lines. Anyways, um, I'm going to decorate the base with these Gale Force 9 scenery pieces. So there's some shrubbery, here's some flocking which looks like appropriately swamp, swampy and bits of scorched grass from GW. That's what I've got on the block this week. Hope you guys like it. Um, if you have any questions on how I did anything. I also, I'm building a, a squad of these so I'm, I'm building them up Catachin style with the close combat weapon and a heavy flamer for, for each of the three. Don't know how effective that's going to be, but I thought it'd be fun, especially with, with the scenic base on this guy. Hope you're all well. Happy Mother's Day again. And um, call your mothers, tell them you love them, and appreciate them for supporting you throughout your life and your decision to play with little pieces of metal and plastic. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.